Okay. And, I, and I'll tell you what, and I know we're going to get into it a little bit later. I don't want to hear any more Kate slander right now. Yes. And I get it. Talk Let's go, him, Flannel. Talk to him, Sam. And I get it. If you want to be Solo one, cam this man. Yes. <laughs> if you want to be one of those people who just doesn't want to get behind anything on the Pistons because they're 9 and 49, I don't agree with you, but I can't necessarily hate any of that. But I kept hearing a little bit too much about, you know what? Maybe they should trade Cade Cunningham. Make this Jaden Ivey's team moving forward. And I, uh, Sam Stick Day is probably the loudest voice of that. <laughs> but <laughs> that's your opinion, fine. But no, Cade Cunningham is the star moving forward of this team. And you know what he's been doing since the All-Star break? You know what he's been averaging? Give it to me. 29.6 rebounds, 6 assists on shooting splits of 59, 57, and 80. That is what? field goal, 3-point, and free throw. Is that Man. good, by the way? That is nasty. That's and, what that is. And think about this, too, just while we're uh, on this Cade Cunningham mm -hmm. thing. It when, continue. Yes, when stuff. you look at his numbers for the season, if you would have been told before the year that you would get these numbers, would you have taken it? 23 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists. Those are his averages on 46, 36, and 85 shooting splits. And oh, by the way, included in that is that Kate Cunningham has really kind of found his three-point shot. And what yes. I said before the year yeah. was uh, get him above 35%. And right now he is just that. And I get it. The Pistons are bad. They're nine and forty-nine. But if you would have got, if you would have been guaranteed those numbers from Cade Cunningham before the season, you would have one hundred percent taken him. The issue has never been Cade Cunningham ever. What the issue has Talk been him, that you know there was a lot of uh, mismanagement of lineups at the beginning of the year, and, well. and including into now with those all bench lineups. That's oh. one of the issues. Another one of the issues is you started off the season with uh, your best shooter out. You also had Killian Hayes on the roster, who just sucks, and we all know that now. <laughs> we all know that. We have, yes, who just like sucks. There's, it, Cade Cunningham this year, when you look at the totality, he has been a star. He just has not had any help. And oh, by the way, Jalen Duran has had inconsistent availability as well. So yeah. the point is, stop it with the Cade slander. He is your future. He is your franchise. He is the best you got. And you better appreciate him. And I hope you watched last night and... Maybe he changed some of your minds and hearts. Yeah, because it's a new team as well. That's yeah. the other caveat here. Out of everything that happened kind of in the first half of the season, this is a completely different team. Young guys who honestly have chips on their shoulders and Quentin Grimes, yeah. Simone Fontecchio. You talk about the team that drafted you kind of just saying, hey, you know what? We don't think that you're good enough to re-sign. And Simone Fontecchio, Quentin Grimes put up decent numbers his first two years with the New York Knicks. And they were just like, you know what? We don't care.